Organizations and cases comes as businesses work to recover, recover from the first wave of COVID-19 and the lockdowns that came with it. Businesses forced to cut back or temporarily close are still reeling financially. A new report says a fifth of businesses in the Orlando area never reopen. News Six's Nadine Yanis joins us now. Nadine, the focus is now on helping these struggling businesses stay open at this point. That's right. And you can see here in Winter Garden, which is made up of small businesses, they got the lights out, feeling festive for the holidays, knowing that after Thanksgiving comes Black Friday, usually good for the big box stores. But after Black Friday comes small business Saturday. Now, this is usually celebrated nationwide as a way to support small businesses. But those owners we spoke with today say they need that support this year more than ever. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. Have a great day. You too. Happy Thanksgiving. Tina Butler took over as owner at Driftwood Market in March, only open one week before having to shut down for seven, not knowing if she would survive. We probably lost 40,000 just because if you think of all the stock we had ordered in, mm -hmm. the Easter that was probably wasted as well. Mm -hmm. Now the store is stocked for Christmas ahead of Small Business Saturday, and this sign tells how they were able to stay open. Because we've just had so much support since we've been open. Unfortunately, though, it's not the same for all businesses in the Orlando area. According to a new study from the Orlando Economic Partnership, in the Orlando region, 20% of businesses have not reopened compared to last year. It's a big hit, you know, that's that's a fifth of the, the businesses that would have been open compared to a pre-pandemic baseline. Phoebe Fleming is the director of research on the study. So we can't say for certain that we've lost permanently 20% of the businesses in Orlando, but we do know that they are at least not open. Really what that data is looking at is, you know, how many businesses have had at least one employee clock in. Down Plant Street at the Sacred Olive, employees are stocking up on inventory ahead of specials they're offering this weekend. Also hoping for a big boost this small business Saturday. I think this year everybody really needs it. Um, you know, we are a family behind our business, so to support a family, whether it's here or, you know, Winter Park or wherever, wherever you go, I think you're supporting families when you support local. And so the Orlando Economic Partnership not only is doing research on this issue, but they're also giving resources to small business owner at no cost. So we have that information on clickorlando.com. In the meantime, the business owners here say many of them are extending their hours and offering specials and discounts come small business Saturday. Guys, back to you.